Farmers across the South say they've had enough of crop circles. Now they're offering a reward to anyone who can provide information that leads to the first successful prosecution for making crop circles. They say valuable crops are being damaged. Yes, they're interesting to look at, and yes, isn't it puzzling how they're made? But no, say farmers, it's not a joke. This is pure criminal damage to a farmer's livelihood. It's no different to um, a garage owner having cars on his forecourt that get vandalised. It's a pure act of vandalism and we want to stamp it out and that's why we're offering this uh, rather large reward. The Farmers Union in Hampshire is actually offering a thousand pounds to anyone giving information leading to a prosecution of hoaxes making the circles. This one on Cheesefoot Hill near Winchester is a classic example of the new breed of designs, obviously not extraterrestrial, but nonetheless damaging to the crop. One crop circle, say, of half an acre might um, show damage of around £300, £400, but then if you take that into, say, five more fields on the same farm, you're then up into the thousands of pounds, and if you just look at the county of Hampshire alone, you're possibly talking about tens of thousands of pounds worth of mindless, reckless damage. What many may not realise is that when harvest time arrives, that's now, the crop used to form the circle is so damaged and flat it can't be picked up by combine harvesters. If it was all lying in one direction we could pick it up, but it doesn't. It just goes round and round in lots of little circles which makes it impossible really. You're just going to make the best of a bad job. Because to people who aren't involved in farming and perhaps don't live in the country, this is just a bit of fun and aren't they pretty and fun to look at, but uh, you don't see it like that. Well, no, you, I think once you've seen one or two, you, you, that's it, you, you've seen them. They've been going on so long, the uh, novelty's worn off, I think. And there are other reasons to catch the hoaxers. Those who come to see the circles do just as much damage yomping across the fields, and in this dry weather, the risk of fire, say farmers, increases dramatically. Tony Kerner in Hampshire for Meridian Tonight.